And a new this morning, AstraZeneca says that data from the U.S. trial says that its COVID vaccine shows it is 79% effective. Well, these findings come as AstraZeneca awaits the FDA's approval on emergency use of the vaccine. More than 50 countries worldwide have authorized the AstraZeneca vaccine. The U.S. still has not. And the state of Kansas is opening up two more phases of its COVID-19 vaccination plan today, which includes people as young as 16. KMC 9's Martin Augustine breaks down who is now eligible. We're talking about phases three and four of the Kansas vaccine plan. If you're in three or four, you're now welcome to schedule appointments for vaccines at clinics or at a health system such as the University of Kansas Hospital, where we are right now. Specifically, though, phases three and four for people in the 16 to 64 age group. Now, that brings the minimum age down quite a bit from phases one and two, but certain medical risks and conditions are required here to move you to the top of the line. That would include cancer, heart conditions, pregnancy would be included in this asthma, liver disease, diabetes too. This is not an exhaustive list, just naming a few right here. It also covers those of you working in agricultural and food industries, utilities and information tech. Again, that's not exhaustive either. That's just uh, naming a few of the, those uh, those careers. Additionally, anybody covered in phase one and two of the Kansas vaccine plan who have yet to receive their vaccinations, they are certainly still eligible and encouraged to get those shots. Reporting from KCK, Martin Augustine, KBC 9 News. And if you do live in Johnson County, you need to fill out a vaccine interest survey. It's available on the County Health Department's website. Well, it's 805 and this morning, Douglas County, Kansas is putting a call out to their neighbors to sign up for their COVID vaccine appointment. The county says that they're ready to move along with phase three and four of the state's plan, but they have about 3000 residents who are eligible in phase two, but have not made their appointment. Well, they say that they're focusing on that group first before moving on. And more, for, uh, more vaccination clinics in Johnson County, Kansas will open today. One will be at the old Dimensional Innovations Warehouse on West 108th Street near Mid-America Drive in Lenexa. Some Johnson County, Kansas hospitals will also offer the vaccine for people in phases 2, 3, and 4. The Johnson County, Kansas Health Department still asks everyone who wants a shot to register on the county website, regardless of what phase you're in. This will help the county get ready when it's your turn. You'll be notified when a vaccine's available and then you can make an appointment. And the VA clinic in Leavenworth will offer walk-in vaccinations this week. Eligible veterans enrolled in VA health care can get their first dose of the Pfizer vaccine starting at 9 a.m. until 2.30 in the afternoon. That's happening today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. The clinic will be at the VA contract building on 4th Street in Leavenworth. And Missouri will move into phase two of its vaccine rollout a week from today on March 29th. People in construction, manufacturing and higher education and other sectors will be able to get their shot. Vaccines should be open to all Missouri adults by April 9th. And the state should have plenty of shots to cover that expansion. Over the weekend, Governor Parson tweeted saying that the state's allotment has tripled with more than 500,000 shots coming to Missouri in the first week of April. And more students across the metro will go back to in-person learning today. In Kansas City, Missouri Public Schools, students in 4th, 6th, 7th, and 9th grade will go back to the classroom. Students in grades 8, 10, 11, and 12 will start in-person learning on April 5th. And just a quick reminder, the Kansas Health Department's mobile COVID testing unit will be back in Baldwin City today. You know, it'll be stationed at the Baldwin City Public Library on 7th Street today and next week. Testing goes from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. and is free for everyone. And if you want to sign up for the vaccine, go to kbc.com, uh, then click on the how to get a vaccine option to find how and where you can sign up. And also, if you have your phone right now, you can open your phone's camera. You can point it there at your screen. You can scan that QR code on the right to see vaccine information for where you live. Plus, you'll get a list of the latest vaccination events.